Hey guys, my name is Matt. If you're new to the channel, I talk about everything that's random that matters to you. And in today's video, we're actually going to talk about are people living longer, guys? That's the question. That's like the million dollar question. Does everyone want to live longer? I know, I think everyone would like to live at a certain age. Some people will say they'd want to live it till 80. Some people say they'd want to live till 100. Some people say 120. But I guess my question is, is that would you rather live longer and experience health issues or would you rather live a shorter lifespan and be able to live a higher quality life during those years, right? So in today's video, we're actually going to review some, some articles here uh, and some other people's opinions. So actually, we're going to start off with some videos here, guys. All right. So let's go ahead and get this pulled up right here. <clears throat> let's watch this, guys. So I think 150 is actually achievable, certainly for people who are 20 and 30 now, because what happens in the next 70 years is going to be amazing. It's just the last 20 has been uh, mind-blowing. And that's what we forget. We forget that, uh, that in 50, 70 years, climate technologies are unimaginable. So don't even try to imagine. Just draw a straight line from where we are to then, and it's an, ine an inevitability that we will be able to control the aging process. So I think there's a good chance that if it's today, we'll live to 150. Wow, you guys, you guys heard that? People are going to be living to potentially 150 years old, guys. And that's due to technology. That's due to healthcare getting better, advancement in science and biology, guys. Um, I think it's really cool, honestly. I really do think it's, it's an interesting topic here, guys. Um, so we're actually going to go ahead and proceed to another topic. So have you guys ever heard of blue zones? So a blue zone is essentially an area geographically where people live long, okay? So let's what some of these guys have to say here about blue zones and life expectancy, guys. Wow. All right, guys, you guys just heard that, right? So a blue zone is essentially somewhere where people live long and they essentially um, live a healthy life, guys. And you guys heard that. That's in Sardinia. That's in, that's in Okinawa. And I'm curious, uh, and I'll cover this in later videos, but what the actual causation of why these people are living to be centenarians. If you guys don't know, a centenarian is someone who lives to be 100 years or older. Uh, I think it's a really, really cool topic to, to discuss. Um, remember, guys, you want to live long and you want to live healthy. You don't want to just live long and be, like, suffering from health effects and stuff like that, right? So, all right. So, we're going to talk – we're gonna actually going to look at another video now, guys. Uh, this video – is interesting. So this one's people are living longer, but it, but is increased lifespan sustainable guys. Let's hear what she has to say. Person living in the 15 to 1800s, your life expectancy would have been between 30 and 40 years. But thanks to modern medicine. Could you guys imagine that living only to 30, maybe 40 is like the pinnacle I'm 32 right now. That means I would, might already have been, you know, passed away, guys. Man. Agricultural developments, industrialization. 
education and sanitation, our lifestyle has significantly increased. The World Health Organization reported that in 2019, the global life expectancy was 73 years. And currently there are more... 73 years, guys. Hear what she just said? The average life expectancy is 73 years. Whereas, as she said earlier in the video, in the early 20th century, life expectancy was 30 years. Wow. So life expectancy has pretty much doubled in the last 100 years. That's pretty wild if you think about it due to modern medicine and science. So she's saying in this video, she pretty much said that, yes, people are living longer, but people are experiencing health issues, immune related issues uh, as well. So I think that is going to be an issue as we get older, as, a, as society gets older, guys. I think that people are going to experience, um, you know, health issues and maybe like people back in the day, they didn't really have to actually worry about like heart disease and cancer and diabetes and Alzheimer's and stuff like that because they were only living to 30. So like, I mean, think about it. Like if you're living to 30 or 40 years of age, I mean, you were, you were barely, I mean, you were barely probably having a family or you may have already had a family by like 15 or 18 years of age and you've already went out and conquered and went to war, came back, or you may have died, you know, passed away in war. Who knows? Uh, or a famine that may have taken taken you. But that's probably why people were only living to 30 or 40. I mean, people were getting, you know, uh, probably suffering from different types of illnesses and, and, you know, reasons why they were passing away. Whereas now, people that are living to, like, you know, 70s, they're now experiencing these issues like heart disease, Alzheimer's, diabetes, cancer, stuff like that, right? So it's interesting to actually uh, to hear you know professionals talk about this kind of stuff because it's I think it's interesting, um, as the guy said. But I have actually another article uh, I'm going to actually talk to you guys about before I go ahead and, uh, and uh, give you guys what I think. So this article right here, guys, this is – let me move my – okay. All right. So this is uh, OurWorldInData.org, okay? The title of this article is Life Expectancy, okay? And they talk about right here, across the world, people are living longer. That's good. In the 1900s, the life, the average life expectancy of a newborn was 32 years old. By 2021, this had more than doubled to 71 years. That pretty much is what the lady just said in the video prior we just looked at, right? She says the average life expectancy is 73. This is saying 71. So it's about 70. 71 to 73 years of age is what I'm kind of starting to kind of understand the average life expectancy is in today's society, Okay. <clears throat> but where, when, how, and why has a dramatic change occurred? To understand it, we can look at data on life expectancy worldwide. The large reduction in child mortality has played an important role in increasing life expectancy, but life expectancy has increased at all ages. In infants, children, adults, and the elderly are all less likely to die than in past and death being delayed. This remarkable shift results from advance in medicine, 
public health, and living standards. Along with it, many predictions of the limit of life expectancy have been broken. So pretty much people like what we thought you could live has been shattered and people are now living longer than what they expected, right? So, all right. And then right here, it shows you a, a graph, guys. Um, it just shows you how like life expectancies are going up. You see right here, let's see me increase, decrease my window or move my window over actually over here. So if you, if you guys can see right here in this graph, um, it pretty much in this graph right here, um, you have, so in like 1850s, your, your average life expectancy was like, you know, Europe was 36 years of age. America's was 35 and worldwide was 29. And then you go to like, you know, let's see, let's go to 1900s. 1900s, now average, you know, age, Europe is now 42. Uh, America's is 41. The world is 32. Asia's 28 years of age. And then it just starts to skyrocket. And then you go to like the 1950s. You know, now America's is now 58. The world's 46. Europe's 62. Asia's 42, Africa's 37, um, and then it starts to kind of decline a little bit in some of these countries right here, uh, 1960, kind of does a dip, it looks like a dip, a, a slight dip, and I don't know if you guys can tell me why that is, what do you think caused that, I'm sure we'll, we can discuss that in another video, <laughs> um, and then it just peaks. It just starts peaking. Europe just keeps going up, up, up. America just keeps going up, up, up. And then Oceania as well. As you keep looking, 1999, look at that. Europe, 73. America, 73. Asia, 67. The world is 66. Africa, 52. And then we go to, you know, mid-2000s. You've got Oceania 76, America 75, the world is 69. And then right here we go to, you know, you guys know what happened right here, right? You guys know what happened right here? 2020, 2021. Life expectancy has kind of dropped a little bit. They dropped a few, a few percentage points. You see that? They dropped. You guys know what happened there, right? Yeah. You know what happened there. <laughs> All right. So, this guy right here is telling us, look, you can live to 150. We're going to be able to live to 150 years old. Just to recap, listen to this guy one more time, guys. There is no limit on biological age. We now understand there's a backup copy of you that we can access with genes and hopefully molecules soon that you've developed. So, I think 150 is actually achievable. So don't even try to imagine, just draw a straight line from where we are to then, and it's an, in an inevitability that we will be able to control the aging process. So I think there's a good chance that kids today will live to 150. Guys, I don't know how you want to take that. I mean, that's, I think it's cool. I'm, t I'm 32, right? I'll be 30, I'll be 33 next month. So I think it's a cool concept. Um, at least we could, we, you know, if it's not 150, I mean, even 100, or 100 and, you know, 110 would be really cool, I think. Um, it would people allow, you know, allowing people to have a higher quality of life too. So if we can start getting rid of the cancer, start getting rid of heart or preventing heart disease, start preventing dementia, Alzheimer's, you know, all these diseases that are affecting people now start kind of using preventive measures to get rid of those and allow people to start living a little bit longer, healthier, higher quality of life. I think that's good for civilization, to be honest with you. But uh, 